What's going on guys? My name is Ty. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the quest line into the mystery. Uh, you have to go to the uh, town or the building called Roadside Manor, which is located right here, right under the new, ga the new gab. Alright, this video is going to be long. It took me three hours to complete this quest, so little kids, go ahead and grab your milk and cookies and grown-ass men. Grown -ass men. You don't have to be ashamed because you're watching this. I had a lot of glitches in this. Might as well just grab a beer and sit back. That's some good shit. So, you go inside the manor, or the roadside manor, and the first thing you have to do is you basically have to investigate. Which is pretty simple. You have markers and you just kind of walk around the room. I would suggest killing the ads first. Makes it a lot easier. Luckily for me, at level 90, 95 all these scorch were like level one so easy one hits on the second floor you will find a terminal that has a marker which is right there basically in this terminal you have to go through all the notes if my memory serves me correct but we'll find out yep go ahead first one third one and one of these guys there we go we just completed it all right, so now we know the history of the Riverside Manor. Now we have to put on our veil, which is something that I had at the beginning of the game. I don't know how you get it. I had it in beta, so it's like very sketchy. I've been, I've been literally carrying it around for almost 95 levels. But now that I have it, you put it on and you walk downstairs. Now me being the retard that I am, I didn't put on the veil. Randy over here was smart enough to put it on. As you can see, it's on his face opens this door basically go down the stairs and there's a biometric system right here that you'll see can't go through it unless you have the veil on it's a pain in the ass with power armor uh whenever i put mine on with power armor it didn't work so i had to get out of my power armor walk through it get back in my power armor and then i would just fast travel out a little bit of backstory about this because you're probably going to end up flying through this if you're watching this this is an all girls club um, you're going to be accessing this terminal up in front to my front right right here. Um, you're going to end up becoming a member, and then you'll start the quests. Randy will end up passing me leads so you guys don't have to see all his, all his uh, shit. So you also, this lets you make the certain type of stealth boy. Don't remember what it was called. It also gives you a blade and whatnot. So go ahead and access the terminal. Start the mission. Or not start the mission? Yeah, there we go. Now we have to go down to the fabricator, I think they call it. Basically, with this fabricator, um, it produces materials for you, um, which includes the type of stealth boy and the sword and the eye patch, I think. So we're going to go ahead and start the veil, I think it was. No. Yeah, wait, maybe. Yeah, okay, so we're repairing our worn veil to get a regular veil. And then we're going to have to go ahead and put that on because, God forbid, I'll end up trying to walk through the door. So, at this point, now we have to go to Lewisburg, which isn't too far away. It's in a walking distance if you don't have the place already discovered. So, we just end up fast traveling there. Now that we're in Lewisburg, or Lewisburg, whatever, however the fuck you uh, pronounce it. You have to go to this quote-unquote special meeting spot. It's like Illuminati shit, I guess, except she's kind of casually dead on the sidewalk. Oh, shit. I remember Dias. I think I get the cultist blade. Yep, cultist blade. A whole bunch of people are asking about this stupid-ass cultist blade. This is a level 40 cultist blade. goes up to 45. You get bone for scrapping, uh, an adhesive, and leather. Um... This dropped off of a plagued ghoul, so obviously it's 100% random. I've seen it in the past. I usually just scrap it or drop it. It's not that good in my opinion, but it is a cool thing if you wanted to like role play or some shit. But this is Fallout, so or I don't know. Beer time, I guess. There's this dead chick casually sitting behind this Nuka-Cola machine. You get your first card off of there. I accidentally didn't equipped the quest or some shit so i didn't get the key card so i had to come back i'll end up cutting that out so just continue following now there's the body up there we have to go up and get that also has i think a hollow tape or something on it 
now that we're on the roof, we can get her orders, I guess. Um, keep in mind that these spots may change because I've done missions with friends where they've had to go to a separate spot to grab something. So there's the statistical probability that it might change, but I feel like it's unlikely because when I did it, it was exactly the same. At this point, we have to go back to the Riverside Manor, so we're going to go ahead and TP. Now TPing to the Riverside Manor, you're going to have to go back down to the basement, and this is where the veil comes into play with the power armor because it's a pain in the ass. So I would just say just barefooting it and then running with the veil so you can get to the bottom floor because I don't know why. It just seems more efficient. Basic tip, you need a second login, so clearly I didn't do this right. That was the whole point of going to, I'm going to call it New Burger because I don't remember the name. So I'm going to have to end up tracking back to New Burger and then you'll catch me right back here. So basically, I'm just going to do the New Burger thing over and I'm going to instantly TP back. Okay, now that I'm back, I have to go to the terminal. So basically, I got the second password. I go to the terminal. Log in. Nope. I did it wrong. Log into the second one. Go to administrative actions. No, administrative actions. Uh, promotions. Promote. And you're supposed to pr promote yourself and you are the unknown user. Once you promote yourself, you give yourself access to the higher level quests, quote unquote higher level, it's just the next tier quests. And so now you can log into yourself and then activate the quests, which I'm doing it right here. Log into your account, continue, boom, checkpoint. You can also see in the top left hand corner that I did quote unquote rank up in this fangirl community. Oh yeah, also, the rewards for these quests are trash, except the the pit boy, or not pit boy, the stealth boy that you can make with hallucinogenic gas, which is pretty cool. But other than that, they just kind of gave me casual ammo and maybe a stim pack. So now we have to go back into the fabricator and then start or fabricate the next quest item. And then it went ahead and gave me garb of mysteries which is just clothes I don't understand why it gave me it exactly because one is a actual piece of clothing and the other one's cosmetic so just disregard that since we we got the clothes we went ahead and went back to the mainframe because that's what we were supposed to do uh, we went ahead and activated the other two quests I think or the three quests two quests uh, one's the phantom which is the stealth boy and the other one is the sword so Phantom and the Blade and then uh, I think it was Voice. So we go ahead and activate the two, I think. I don't think we activate the third. I know we do. We just activate them all. Who gives a fuck? So go ahead and activate them all so you don't have to run back and forth to the stupid ass mainframe. It makes it faster. And you have to play a lot of holo tapes. I think there's like three or four different holo tapes you have to play. It's pretty annoying, but it starts the quests. Uh, each mission went ahead and gave you a hollow tape, so I ended up just popping them all in, and so it would start the quest. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the database, or yeah, the database because we don't, or the mainframe because we don't know where these items are. My dude's being a little derpy. I decided to go on everything. So right there, we can see where they're available at so we're going to go ahead and activate all three of them so that they're on the map so we can just fast travel to all three do them and then come back to the mainframe so we don't have to just keep running back and forth because we're trying to save time i have no idea what i did here but it looked important i kind of click some things hit a checkpoint i think i talked about some stuff But you can see in the top right hand corner that I'm squad lead now, so I can, so you guys don't have to stare at all the miscellaneous missions. So, since I have a stealth boy, 
Souls needs a stealth boy to get into the fa uh, the fabricator to make the phantom stealth boy, which is part of the quest. So at least bring one stealth boy with you so you can, or so you don't have to go out and actually find one or buy one. So now all three of the markers are on the map. One's down at the mine, the other is up by Sugar Grove, and the other one is... I don't know where the fuck the third one is. It's somewhere. We're going to go to the mine first. All right, we went ahead and made it to the mine. We're going to go ahead and get the stuff we need. I think we need the hallucinogenic stuff. The weird thing I found with this one is that you need level 2 lock picking. Uh, you don't necessarily need it to get hallucinogenic canisters. You can get that from like um, military places. They have them kind of scattered around so it varies. But it was level 2 which I thought was pretty interesting because I'm the only one with lock picking in the group. So I don't know. Once you get your canister, we're going to go ahead and head over to the EMP, which is at Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove is probably the best place to get screws and nails and lead and plastic. So we're going to go ahead and head over there now. Ha, huh, I lied. We're going to the golf course first. The golf course one's a little stupid. You have to go into one of these little shacks and uh, investigate again. Basically, there's this robot sitting in the corner with a little key card, I think. So you can open the Chinese officer's sword, or the blade, or whatever the fuck they call it. There is a little butler in the corner, and he's the one with the key card thing for the terminal. If Randy didn't get out of his power armor on top of it, it'd be a different story. I went ahead and grabbed the key card anyways, even though Randy went ahead and opened the box for me. Everyone can pick up this item. When I pick it up, Randy's still able to pick it up, so it just doesn't disappear. Now we're going to Sugar Grove to get that EMP. Once you get to Sugar Grove, go ahead and kill the ads. They kind of just get in the way and they get pretty annoying. When you go down the first flight of stairs in Sugar Grove, make sure you take a right and it's the first door on your left where there's a terminal that lets you get the saber. Is it saber? Yeah, no, I don't know what the fuck it is. But it lets you get this key card, and you have to get the data off of this key card. And I said one out of six. This is what I had the most issues with. I spent about 40 minutes trying to figure out why my stuff wasn't working. I logged. I did different things. Now, now I got the tape. I have to go up there and transfer the data. But I had serious issues. Every time I'd put in the tape, it didn't put in the tape, so it got complicated. Uh, it eventually worked though, so that's the good part. After finding the correct hollow tape, go ahead and download the data. Once you download the data, you are ready to modify your sword. Modify your sword, you end up needing to kill five creatures. Beer time. Sounds easy, but it's not. Go ahead and find your ch Chinese officer sword thing, and then go ahead and modify it. Once you modify it, then it gives you the creature quest. Okay, so this is this is a little buggy, but basically you have to kill six creatures, which it sounds easy, but it looks like you have to kill one or each different or a different creature every time you kill it. And so, half the time they don't even fucking register. I end up killing like 30, 40 different things with this stupid S sword that does 16 damage. But, like, it takes us a good 17, 20 minutes. We ran around the woods hunting animals, killed a legendary yogi, kind of. It died at the end. Um, hunted some frogs. The best tip I can tell you is to go out and kill a whole bunch of things. I'm going to skip killing all these things because it's 30 minutes of running around the woods. After you get done killing six different creatures, now you got to end up going back to the Riverside Manor. 
So we're going to go ahead and go back to the fabricator. Access the fabricator. Fabricate some stuff. It goes beep, 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 boop, beep. Beep, 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 boop, beep. Beep, 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 boop, beep. Okay, so there's all three of the items. Fucking easy wheezy lemon squeezy only took an hour and a half. Um, so I went ahead and gave you the sword. Level 25, 75 damage, still trash, but... It's a sword nonetheless. Go back to the fabricator, find the hard drive thing you downloaded it, downloaded, plug it in, upload it. When you're done, it completes that quest, get some money, get some rewards and some XP. Now we gotta hop back into the mainframe. We're gonna have to give ourselves a promotion like we did last time. Or we accepted it, we didn't have to give ourselves a promotion. Going to go ahead and let it remove those quests. Now all we have to do is listen to a hollow tape. So we're gonna go ahead and back out. Go ahead and shuffle through your 8,000 hollow tapes. Have fun finding it. Luckily they kind of give it a star. Pop in the hollow tape, complete the quest. Now we have a new mission. We have to go back to the mainframe and accept that mission. Alright, it looks like we finally accepted that, or completed it at least. Now we have to listen to another holotape. All right, since we listened to the holotape, now we have to go to the ski resort up by top of the world, right next to it, pretty simple. Now basically, we're here to collect all these stupid ass notes. There's like eight of them, and if you don't know where I am, I'm right behind top of the world. Um, a lot of enemies spawn here, so it's not the easiest to do it, but it's nothing that we can't handle. And if you're still watching this, I wanted to thank you because I don't know how desperate you are to be watching this 17 minutes in, but holy fuck's sake, I hope you get past this stupid ass mission, because I hate this mission so goddamn much, I wanted to give up so bad, but thank goodness to Randy's moral support, that's the only reason why I kept going. So now what we're doing is we got to go over to this alcoholic place. This dude that works here, or that lived here, is an alcoholic. But we have to access his terminal because he's the top guy or some shit. Now that we're done with the terminal, we can go back to the, to the fucking, I don't even remember the name. We have to go back to that place. So once we get done with this, not exactly sure what happens next. Go to your name. Finally complete the mission. Now you gotta search the office. It's just right upstairs. Go ahead and slap your hand on that biometric scanner. There is a computer. You gotta hit that bad boy.
So right now you're looking for clues of the meeting place. There's this weird ass terminal over here. It, you go ahead and read the journal. You read the notes, it gives you the location. Alrighty, and the special special little meeting place is in the top right hand corner up by top of the world. I don't know why I'm looking down there. It's to the top. To the top. To the top left. Come on. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the closest place and go. You end up coming up on these two dead people. You end up looting them, getting your things. And I think you go back to the place. Yep, I was right. We're gonna go back to the mainframe. Looks like we gotta become... Okay, so we're basically promoting ourselves again. However long this takes. I'll say at this point I was pretty aggravated at the quest. Alrighty, we're almost done. Go ahead and hit continue. Boom. Look at that. We finished the quest, I think. Yep, completely done with the quest. Finished a rune ode. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section. I'm sorry this video took fucking almost a half an hour to do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. If it helped, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you guys want to see more, subscribe.